The Montreal Alouettes have won the 110th Grey Cup and they sealed the deal in dramatic style with just 11 seconds to go. Inside the Winnipeg 20. Down by three. Time running out. And so, touchdown! Tyson Philpott has the catch that has put Montreal ahead in the Grey Cup with 11 seconds to go. Tyson Philpott scored that winning touchdown. He was named the top Canadian in the game and carries on the family legacy. His father was on the BC Lions 1994 Grey Cup championship team and Montreal's quarterback, quarterback rather, Cody Fajardo was named Grey Cup MVP. And this now was the scene at Montreal's airport this morning as the Grey Cup champions arrived home. The Alouettes went in as underdogs but stunned the Winnipeg Blue Bombers with their 28-24 win. It's their eighth Grey Cup title and their first in more than a decade. The CBC's Kobina Oduro was at the Mirabel Airport when the team touched down. The Montreal Alouettes are all smiles today. They hopped off that plane and Mustafa Johnson walked down those stairs with the Grey Cup in his hand and his shirt off. It is cold in Montreal right now, but the Alouettes are very happy with their performance in last night's Grey Cup game where they won 28 to 24, beating the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Now I spoke to coach Jason Moss and he says that he's proud of his team because the reason why they won is that they played as a unit. I don't think everything's settled in, set, set in just yet about what this team has accomplished. Um, it was a goal we all had at the beginning of the year, but it wasn't our focus. Our focus is on working hard and, and coming together and, and playing for someone other than ourselves. Montreal quarterback Cody Fajardo was named the MVP of the game. He had three touchdowns and one interception, and he really led the Montreal Alouettes to the victory when they needed him most in the fourth quarter. Last 13 seconds, he had a touchdown drive, and that's how Montreal came on top. And he says that it was because of his wife that he decided to come to Montreal and continue playing football. Everybody believed and everybody knew that this year was special and there was a lot of things to be special about. And uh, having that cup on that plane ride home uh, makes all the blood, the sweat, the tears all worth it. Now the celebrations are not done for the Montreal Alouettes. They have a parade on Wednesday where they are going to celebrate with all their fans. Now something that the Montreal Alouettes have been saying is that their fans are the only people amongst them and also the people in the locker room who believed in them and who believed that they could become the Grey Cup champions. It's the first time that the Alouettes have won the Grey Cup in 13 years, the last time being in 2010. So they are going to enjoy a bit of rest and celebration with their families before they head to the parade on Wednesday. And then they will take a long break in the offseason before trying to repeat as champions in the CFL. Kubino Duro, CBC News, Mirabel.